Hello there, Braden Smith here from Learn to Play the Fiddle. Today's video is a quick tutorial on a great tune called Farewell to Wally Range, written by the flute player Mike McGoldrick. This is a slip jig, an Irish slip jig. Uh, if you're interested in knowing more about what that means and, and the, the rhythms of slip jigs and so on, um, I'm making a video all about the different types of Irish tunes, so do go and check that out. Uh, I'm not going to go into lots of detail about what a slip jig is here, I'm just going to go through the tune with you. Uh, it's a really fun tune to play, uh, it's become quite popular in sessions, um, so I'll play the whole tune for you first of all, at a steady speed, and then we'll break it down and start to learn it. So here's Farewell to Wally Range. So there's a fairly simple run through the tune twice. It's a two-part slip jig, um, and uh, let's let's start to break the tune down into those two parts. So we'll look at the A part first of all. There's lots of different ways that you can play this tune. You'll hear people playing it slightly differently. You'll also hear it played in in different keys as well. Um, so the the version that we're going to learn here is is how I would normally play this. But there's lots of variations that we can look at. I'll in, I'll show you a few of them. Um, but there's lots of ways that we can play around with this tune as well. So this is a tune that's in the key of F sharp minor, um, and that might not be a tune that's familiar to you. Don't don't worry if it's not. Um, there's not a lot of tunes that you're going to learn in in this key. Um, but actually, the notes are not uh, anything that's going to be uh, unusual or new to you. We're going to be using F sharps and, and C sharps in this tune. Um, so don't worry about that. It might sound a little bit different to to tunes in G and D and A and so on that you're used to, but um, but don't worry about the key. It's it's different to normal, but the, the notes are no more difficult. So let's start looking at the uh, let's start looking at the first part, this A part. I'm going to start off by showing you just a sort of simple version of the A part and then we can talk about some variations in a second. So I'll play you the whole A part through nice and slowly. And that's it, that's all there is to it. You've got at the beginning of this tune, you've got this jump from F sharp to C sharp. I'm just going to show you up close. I'd really recommend that you try and learn to do that with the second finger across the two strings, so F sharp to C sharp. And the same thing here. So I'll show you that one more time. So that's our first phrase, and you've got two occasions where that where you need to swap directly from the F sharp on the D string to the C sharp on the A string. If you can do that by just keeping the one that second finger down across the two strings, that's by far the best way of doing it. It'll be it'll give you the cleanest sound. But if you need to pick your finger up and move it across from one string to the other, that'll that'll work too. So let's just do that one that first phrase one more time, and then we'll the second phrase is nice and easy. And then the second bit's dead straightforward. Great, so that whole A part one more time, play it along with me if you can. I'm just going to play you that once through counting out. So bearing in mind that slip jigs, we're thinking in, in nine 
nine quavers in the bar, nine eighth notes in the bar. Um, you don't really need to count up to nine. You can just think of it as one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, as long as you know that you're getting three groups of three. But I'll try and count it in nine for you. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not so straightforward to count and play at the same time. And the next bit's dead straightforward though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll just give you that whole rhythm one more time. And all of that repeats. We go straight from there back to the beginning again. So we can just play that twice. And that's our whole A part. You will also hear this first bar often played with a slightly different shape, slightly different rhythm. So rather than the way that I've just introduced it to you, which is all long notes followed by short notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. You can also play it like this instead by introducing another note. Similar note, just slightly different rhythm. So worth learning both of those variations. That's a very common way of playing this tune. Uh, the way that I've shown you first of all is just a slightly simpler way to wrap your head around the notes first of all. Great, good stuff. So try practicing that. that the A part's fairly straightforward. It just repeats, uh, repeats that whole phrase twice over and then we'll have a look at the B part. Great, so we'll come back and look at some uh, variations and ornamentation and stuff that we can put into this A part uh, after we've learned the rest of the tune. But let's first of all have a look at the B part for this tune. So I'll play you the whole melody of the B part through uh, slowly so that you can hear how it goes. It's kind of got a slightly sort of loopy sort of um, feel to it. So you have to really wrap, around, wrap your head around how the melody goes. Um, I should say as well, this is how I play this tune. You'll hear other people play it slightly differently. Um, but uh, so here's the B part. And you can hear that that doesn't really fully resolve, but that's because it takes us back into the A part. I'll play you that once more round just so you can hear the melody one more time. And that would take us back into back into the A part. There are lots of different ways you can play this. As I said before, um, at the beginning of this B part, you can hold these high A's or do what I normally do, which is to split them out for an F sharp. Like that. So I'll show you that all up close in case there's any notes that you need to work out. I'll break it down into two halves so that you can see how the two halves are similar for most of them and then they, they have two different endings. So here's the whole thing up close in, in two parts. So we're starting with that high A, that third finger on the E string. And this first few bars is the same both times round in both halves of the B part. So. one ending that goes like this so I'll play that all for one more time this is the first half of the B part and then you repeat all of that first three bars A slightly different ending. I'll 
I'll just do that ending one more time so you can hear how that differs from the first time round. And then... Great stuff, so that's the whole B part. I'll just play it one more time so that you can play along with it if you've worked out the notes. Uh, I'll play it nice and slowly and uh, see if you can play along. Brilliant. So I hope you've got most of the melody now and then uh, once you've got really comfortable with that we can talk about some ornamentations and chords and things that we can throw in here as well. So I just want to finish by going through a few extra little things, um, mostly ornamentation that we can put into this tune. I'm not going to go through these ornaments all in detail, I just want to show you some places where I might be playing certain ornaments when I'm, when I'm playing through this tune. Um, I've got videos on most, not all yet, most of these ornaments. So um, go, do go away and look at those if you want to learn more about how to play these ornaments. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be going through them here, but just to show you a few of the things that we can be doing with this tune. So let's look in the A part to start with. <clears throat> we talked at the beginning about playing that first interval with your second finger across the C sharp and the F sharp, but you can also play the F sharp with a chord with an A string running over the top of it. So at the beginning of the tune you could play you could choose maybe not to do all of those but maybe just to play the odd F sharp with an A chord over the top. If you do do that you're going to have to jump the finger across you won't be able to use that same technique. Um, I'll just show you up close what that would look like. So with an A chord on the first note. So you're playing the F sharp with the A string over the top. And then maybe here. And then for that next bit you could bring the second finger back across both strings again. And replace it across both. So that might be one way of playing that first phrase. Um, the other thing that I'm doing in this A part um, very often a lot of the time is playing long rolls on those long B notes, those first finger Bs. So I'll just show you how that would sound. So I'll do that on most of those long B notes. As I say I'm not going to go into how to play rolls here, I'll put um, I'll put a card up in the corner of the screen for a, a video on how to play long rolls if you're interested in learning them. But on those first finger Bs would be a good place to play them. Like that. So one of the in the B part, one of the ornaments I'd be using is playing cuts between those F sharps in the first uh, phrase of the B part. So if we're playing that first phrase of the B part like this, Then we could, instead of playing those two F sharps with two bows, we could separate them with a cut instead. Like that. So then the whole of the B part would sound like. Etc, etc. So you could use that, that cut there as well. So there's just a few ideas for some things you can throw in here. Some cuts, some long rolls, some chords that you can play to... To really spice this tune up a bit. Um, once you've got it under your fingers it's a fun tune to play to play fast you'll often hear it played at a good speed um, so just practice some of those some of those finger shapes first of all until you've got it really comfortable and uh, have fun with it. Great I hope you've really got a lot out of that and that you're enjoying playing this tune. If you're enjoying these videos please do subscribe to the channel it really helps with small channels like this uh, and I'll be making lots more videos soon so check back for those. Great stuff. All right, take care now. Bye-bye.